Once you've organized your menus and your modifiers, you're ready to begin assigning items to your menus. This is done using the Define Menu Items option. Again, here you have the opportunity to add, modify, or delete an entry, as well as viewing menu items, printing menu items, assigning the menu item order, or changing other menu item assignments. Let's begin by looking at the process of modifying an existing menu entry. We can use the F8 key to pull up an item that's already been placed on our menu. You'll see that the first field is the product ID or the SKU of the product that we're adding to the menu. The second field, or once you've brought that in, you'll then see in the second field here the description or all of the lines of description that have been defined for that. When you leave this field by pressing enter or hitting tab, you'll next be taken to the menu which allows you to specify which menu the item will appear on. Once you've, entered, once you've selected the menu, which you can do by pressing the F8 key, uh, you'll then be prompted for the text to appear on the button on the menu. Uh, we allow two lines with ten characters each of text for the item on the, on the button. Following that, you'll see the ability or the assignments for all the different modifier lists. You simply enter a Y for any of the modifier lists that you would like to apply to this item. On this side of the screen, you'll see options for specifying some of the other modifiers, custom sides list cooking instructions. Uh, the allow a custom price option, if set to yes, will prompt a user uh, to enter an alternate price. The default price will appear when the, the screen comes up, but if the user needs to enter a different price, they can do that. For example, on gift certificates and other items, or perhaps specials, uh, they may want to be able to override the price. Uh, next you have the Cook's printer assignments. The software allows you to specify for each terminal which printers will be used uh, to print specific items on your menu. And then using the menu item assignments you can specify if it should print on the first Cook's printer, the second Cook's printer, or the third Cook's printer, and so on and so forth. Uh, you can also deactivate an item button by selecting the make item button active option uh, yes or no. If you mark that as a no the item will be Dis are disabled or not currently active, uh, for example, for items that are on specials or are only available during specific days of the week. You'll note at the bottom that items that are not assigned to at least one Cook's printer can be can print out on the default receipt printer when the when the uh, order is sent to a Cook, uh, if the appropriate miscellaneous definition option is selected. Once you've added and created all of your menu items. You can view items on all of your menus using the view option. The print menu items will print a report listing all of your menu items. And finally, you can use these two options to more quickly and easily maintain menu items once uh, those items have been created. Assign menu item order will allow you to select a specific menu and then define both the order of the buttons as well as the color that those buttons will appear. You can also mark items as active or inactive from this screen as well as changing the text that will appear on their buttons. The screen order function allows you to specify the order that the buttons will appear on the screen. Uh, one method of using those buttons is to explicitly specify the order that the, the items will appear in. The other option would allow you to assign the same value to a group of items, in which case those items would be grouped together uh, based on the value that's defined in the screen order and then sorted alphabetically based on the button text. When you choose a color, you'll be given a basic color picker and allowed to select any color that is defined or to define your own colors uh, using the standard color picker. When you're finished, you can press F3 and it will save your changes. The change menu items assignments is a similar function. However, it's designed more to allow you to change the modifier lists that have been assigned to menu items as well as to change the Cook's printer assignments that have been assigned to items in a batch mode rather than having to pull up and modify each item separately. From this function you can also assign the order that items will print on the Cook's printer. The Cook's printer can be divided into different print groups which are numbered 1 through 9 uh, as well as Z which is assigned to no group and will then just print at the bottom. The default value for everything will be Z because it's not uh, assigned to anything. When you're finished specifying the order that you would like items to print on the Cook's printer or any of the other options in this screen, you can again hit F3 to save the item.